welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Pamku. Now this here is a brand new fighting robot that literally yields a sword as well as a gun. So I'm really excited to go ahead and try it out. And it also incorporates a fighting game if you have more than one. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Now, the box itself is actually fairly nicely sized. Uh, it's almost like a cube. Uh, it's got a nice looking matte color finish on it. Uh, over here you do see the two different robots fighting. One's got swords and one has guns. Uh, and then that's about it. Over here it does show the actual robot itself. Take a look at that. So you do see he's got some LEDs. Uh, he's got some gold plating and then his wheels are for his legs. And he's got two arms that can move over as well. And then you can always buy a red version as well as a black version. And it is app control. So that's actually quite interesting. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up, in which just kind of slides open just like that. There we go. And that opens up like that. All right, cool. So on the top here, we have an instruction manual. Uh, so this here kind of guides you exactly how to open this as well as like load it up. So you connect via Wi-Fi uh, and then you just go ahead and plug and play. You can go ahead and customize the robot itself in terms of controls as well as fighting abilities. Uh, this here is a warranty card and then this just sort of slides like that. There we go. And wow, there's our robot right over there. Let's go ahead and pull him out. Ugh. Cool. <laughs> Check that out guys. Uh, so the quality of this is quite interesting. Uh, first thoughts, it does look like a fighting robot, almost like one of those Japanese anime kind of robots. Got some nice looking red as well as gold colors on him. Uh, he's got four wheels as well as some servos here. You can see it kind of maneuvering just like that. Uh, then he does have some sensors as well from what it looks like which is here. Uh, and then yeah, he's got some wires and everything else going on. So let's go ahead and see what else is inside the box. So let's put that to the side for now. And over here, so we got some weapons. So these appear to be the swords. Cool. They're actually magnetic. You can actually see them clicking like that. Uh, in which, if you look at them carefully, uh, very simple design. Uh, there's some screw holes as well just to kind of fasten them in place. And literally, they just go ahead and slide into it just like that. There we go. And then that one slides into it like that. So, our guy is ready to yield his swords and fight his way to the battle. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, these here are our guns. So, it's kind of nice that they kind of give you a set of each rather than just one uh, pair of pair. Uh, and then here's our guns. They got, it looks like some sensors on it as well. In which, uh, when you go ahead and place them in, so let's do that. Uh, this will actually plug into there. Uh, there's a port so the guns will actually light up as you fight so let's go ahead and do that and we're ready to go so you can go ahead and yield like one sword or two swords or one gun or two guns and we're just mix and match the way we have it set up right now uh, this here's our battery uh, in which there's a port right here to charge it literally just plug and play uh, and then we have some extra tools. Here's our little Allen wrenches. Uh, this will help us go ahead and fix our robot in case if he does break. And then we have our charging port. Uh, this here is for the AC adapter. Uh, and then here is a cable to charge them as well or just connect them to the computer. And then we have another packet filled with little tiny screws in terms of locking uh, the weapons in place. And that's about it in terms of what the contents delivers. So, very interesting, uh, you know, you do get quite an amount of stuff here. So you get different weapons as well as different charging cables. Uh, but the key thing is how the robot functions. So let's go ahead and load up the app next. Alright, so we're all set ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our robot. Uh, there's an on off switch here on the back. There we go. And that's his ready stance. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on connect to his Wi-Fi. Uh, and from there, we can go ahead and load up the app and control them. Alright, well that actually looks like a really cool introduction. Uh, it does show the robot and kind of shows like all the different things going on with it. So let's click on start. Now in terms of control go, uh, literally you get a little joystick here on the left hand side in which you can go ahead and have them rotate one way or the other. You can have them move forward as well as back. And you can always have him move him uh, side to side, just like that. Now, in terms of his weapons go, so you do get that sword and you do get that gun. 
Uh, the gun itself does fire, so when you hit the shoot button, you actually hear the gun firing and you'll see the LED going off as well. Now, the way it works is that the robot does have a sensor here on the front in which when the sword or the gun shoots at it, the health of your robot will go down as well. Now, to kind of give you an idea on how that works, uh, I got his other sword over here, uh, and literally once you hit the chest, you'll see that the health's going down on the top. So, kind of interesting design, and once you hit zero, it'll actually reset the game, and in terms of battle goes, it makes it really unique. Now, uh, this here being the beta version, uh, it's still limited in terms of access, so we can't really show you the different weapons or the attacks itself, but if I go into the settings mode up here on the top right, and click on boot up, uh, and click on boot up action, this will allow me to give full control of the robot itself in terms of servos go. So you can see it's got a lot of different functionality, so that's like the right shoulder, so you can move it like that, uh, you can move his right arm just like that, uh, elbow, as well as hand too. So. So you can create your own animations. Uh, so for instance, if I do this, just like that, and that'll be my action number one, and now this is action number two. So we'll just go ahead and have him kind of move his waist just like there. And then we'll pull his elbow up like that and his hand down, there we go. And then action three, we'll just have him go to the other way and then have his sword come out just like that. There we go. And then I can click on perform so he'll replay that action so you can just keep look at that it looks really cool and then you can click save and then you can always click and create your own animations in terms of the buttons go and use them in fight battle so it kind of gives you an idea of what this robot's about it's actually really interesting uh, you can interchange the parts and kind of make it all customizable and create your own very own creation so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about Pampu, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.